One thing about going low carb is uh, finding al alternate uh, ways of making dishes that I've liked in the past. One of them is uh, egg rolls or spring rolls. Uh, usually the spring roll skins are made from wheat and are carby, but uh, today I experiment with different types of wrappers and I think I've found a good alternative. Hi, today I'm going to try to make egg rolls, uh, keto egg rolls, meaning low carb. Uh, I'll start with the filling and figure out how I'm going to wrap them at all, or if at all. So what I have is 8 ounces of ground pork, quarter cup of chopped diced celery, about a cup of bean sprouts, about a quarter cup of chopped onions, a chopped green onion, about a, two cloves of garlic, and about a cup of... Uh, chopped cabbage and for flavorings I'm going to use uh, sesame seed oil, soy sauce, white pepper and salt and uh, about maybe one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce and half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. A lot goes a long way and uh, in terms of amount of meat and vegetables it all is based on personal preference. Some people like a lot more meat and little vegetables or some Spring rolls are vegetarian with no meat and all vegetables. And also you could use different vegetables. I... All right, one of the first things I like to do when I uh, make egg rolls is to cook the veggies first. This helps dry out the filling. So I'm just gonna dump it all into a pan and stir fry. Even though I'm going to add soy sauce, I do like adding salt, a little salt to the veggies while they're cooking. That's probably just a little shake, so a dash to a quarter teaspoon of salt. Basically, I'm uh, cooking to combine the flavors and drive out some of the moisture, so when we make egg rolls, it's not going to be a soggy mess. Alright, the veggies have been cooking about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. I'm going to add a little soy sauce. And a little white pepper. A lot of, little goes a long way with white pepper. That's probably just a dash right there. Okay, the veggies have uh, cooked down a little. I'll put it on the side and back on the plate and I'll give it a little taste to see what else it needs. Also at this time I'll add a little of uh, the sesame seed oil, probably a half teaspoon. Mix this up and give it a quick taste. All right, I could add a little more salt, but now I'm gonna cook the pork. Now it's time to cook the pork. Smash this and cook it into uh, crumbles. Just like the uh, veggies, I like to add a little salt, not a lot. Uh, probably a less than a quarter of a teaspoon. All 
All right, the pork's been cooking about uh, two minutes. The pickness is gone. I'm going to add the veggies back. Give it a quick cover. One thing I did notice, it did need a little more salt or soy sauce. So I'll add that. Mix it in. A little extra soy sauce. Cover for about a minute. All, all right, the uh, filling has been cooking for about a minute. I think everything's done. I'll set it aside and figure out how I'm going to do the. Uh, wrappers all right one of the uh Low carb egg roll wrappers I'm thinking of is just taking uh, one egg and scrambled it up with one tablespoon of water and a couple drops of toasted sesame seed oil. I'm going to try to make a thin omelet or a crepe and uh, see if I could use that as a an egg roll wrapper. See if it's uh, this pan is truly non-stick. Let it cook for another 10 seconds. Okay, wrapper number one. Okay, concept number two is to use a uh, coconut flour. This is one tablespoon of coconut flour, three tablespoons of water. I let it uh, sit for a half hour so the coconut flour would hydrate. Added a quarter teaspoon of salt and a couple drops of toasted sesame seed oil. And this is two egg whites I'll use as a binder. So I'll mix that together and sort of make like a keto tortilla. All right, here's the uh, coconut flour, salt, and uh, egg white mixture. I'll try to make, uh, see if I can make uh, egg roll wrappers out of this. Two tablespoons. And I'll use a pastry brush to spread it out. It's sort of like uh, what I've seen uh, on YouTube making lumpia wrappers. A little bit of clumps there. Let it 
set before I flip it over. soft in some areas. All right, here's the results of my egg roll experiment. This is the filling. I have uh, three possible candidates to do a uh, deep fried egg roll. This is a uh, low carb cauliflower tortilla that I found at Costco. Here's the egg white coconut tortilla I made. And this is the uh, thin egg crepe. Uh, I'll put a little filling in each, wrap it, and close it with a little egg yolk, and then I'll deep fry them and see how they turn out. And if that all else fails, uh, for a low-carb meal, this is actually a pretty filling. Uh, sometimes people call it an egg roll in a bowl. All right, to uh, fill an egg roll, you take a little bit of the filling, a spoonful, Place it in the center. This works for uh, regular egg roll skins, or I'll try it with this. Roll it over, pull it back. Roll this over, roll this over. Then wrap a little, a tight little cigar, little egg yolk. There's uh, egg roll number one. I'll do that same thing with the uh, coconut crepe. Little filling in the center. Bring it over, pull back. Hopefully this looks like it's starting to fall apart. Roll it. Put a little egg yolk, seal it, place it on the side. Uh, okay, the egg crepe is a little larger. Maybe I should, uh, I was going to use a quarter, but I'll just do the same thing. Put some filling in the center, one spoonful or a tablespoonful. Roll it over since there's extra room. Bring up the flap. You could probably eat this cold, like a fresh roll. Egg to seal the egg. Is that car uh, egg cannibalism? I don't know. Oh, nope, this is starting to fall apart. Maybe try that again. A little more stuff. All right, next to the deep frying. Now I'm gonna try frying these low carb egg rolls, heating some oil, and I'll slowly put them in. Okay, they're sizzling. Oh, that one's. They should brown quickly, but uh, since we're in unknown territory, we'll find out. And I'll drain them on a paper towel. Oops, a little too brown, but it seems to be working. That's 
hot. Splitter splatter. And here's the uh, egg egg roll. Well, typically I don't like uh, overcooking eggs and browning because to me they taste better, but some people like uh, omelets and eggs, scrambled eggs with browning on them. But it seems like uh, so far so good. Alright, that was probably a that was probably a quick fry about uh, thirty seconds each. Just an estimate. I all right, here are the uh, all right. Here are the final egg rolls or uh, spring rolls. This is the egg one. It's pretty soft. This is the uh, coconut crepe. It's not bad. And this is the uh, cauliflower crust uh, pre-made uh, found at Costco. Let's see how they taste. Tastes like egg and uh, filling. Coconut crust, not bad. I mean, uh, yeah, coconut white egg white crust, not bad. Let's try the pre-made cauliflower crust. That's pretty good. Tastes like uh, lumpia. So I think uh, if I were to make egg rolls, I'd use the cauliflower crust that's available pre-made at Costco. This one actually isn't bad. I just need to perfect the recipe using uh, coconut flour and egg whites. All right, here's my final egg roll dish. This is me putting the egg back into the roll. This is the other half of that egg crepe I made with just a uh, beaten egg. And I've layered the uh, filling on it. So basically, it's sort of like a Japanese uh, sushi type dish. Fill it and roll it. So here's my another version of an egg roll. Probably have to cut it nicely but uh, there we go. Egg roll.